Confidential stayed out of legal headlines until its biggest story, The Wrong Door Raid. It starred Joe DiMaggio, Marilyn Monroe, and Frank Sinatra. It led to an ironic development. The United States government started spying on the spies. The FBI started its own file on Confidential, and the tables were turned. I heard that J. Edgar Hoover uh, kept all sorts of files on Confidential. I was convinced that the FBI at some point was investigating Confidential. I've had an appeal for the release of that information pending for the last year and a half. Some of those files are missing and or blacked out. And Steve Gavoni is fighting to get the whole dossier released even now. What was so serious that the FBI got on the case of a little scandal magazine? What was so serious about that? Well, for one, stories like this. The scandal was known as the Wrong Door Raid. Sitting ringside as it unfolded was leading Hollywood columnist James Bacon. It all started in a, a restaurant in Hollywood called the Villa Capri. And uh, Joe DiMaggio was separated from Merrill Monroe at this time. And, uh, but he had some inkling or some suspicion that uh, Marilyn was sleeping in her apartment with some other guy. I think it was supposed to be her makeup man, as I recall. And uh, he got very, you know, Italian temper. He got madder and madder about it. And I guess they were having a little vino, you know, and Sinatra is there with him. And in all fairness to Frank, uh, Frank tried his damnedest to talk Joe out of doing anything about it. He said, you know, you're separated from her. It's, uh, don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. Joe wouldn't listen, you know. He was determined to go over and break down that door. So he, Frank went with him because what the heck, a pal's a pal, you go with him. And they all went over there and they kicked the door down and they had the wrong number of the apartment. And they kicked the door, bedroom door down of an old maid who was living there all alone. There she was in bed all by herself, sound asleep, and the door is kicked down, and there's Joe DiMaggio and Frank Sinatra standing there. It was, it was quite a sight. Well, the elderly woman eventually won a court settlement. In addition, it had become known to authorities that a private investigator had accompanied Frank and Joe that night. This launched a state investigation to see if private detectives were selling out their clients to scandal magazines. Frank Sinatra testified that he was just an innocent bystander. Will you tell the committee the circumstance under which you happen to be there? Well, I drove Mr. DiMaggio to uh, the general area. Didn't you mean Mr. Joe DiMaggio? There's only one that I know of, actually. There are five uh, brothers. Well, he's the, probably the hottest one. Meanwhile, Confidential had bought the detective's file of the raid, and this became their hottest story ever. But at the same time, they had crossed Frank Sinatra, who had influential friends. The magazine had also elicited the watchful eye of the government. While the Kraft Committee produced no charges against Confidential, then California Governor Goodwin Knight called for an all-out war against the magazine and its tabloid imitators. 